On that note, uh, Jonas, let's talk about hard money. Okay. Okay. You um, can you tell the listeners, because probably the majority of listeners out there don't know what hard money is, when someone would use it, what it's for. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about hard money? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so hard. The reason why they call it hard money is is because the lender, which is me mm -hmm. and my partner. Uh, lends money on a hard asset, so it's it's something that has um, intrinsic value to it already. So, um, you know, a home is worth money, obviously, yeah. and so I am not lending to the borrower. I'm basically lending uh, based on the collateral. Got it. So, uh, you know, if. I mean, my criteria is that there is equity in the property. Um, the property is worth something so that if the borrower doesn't pay me back, then I get the property. That's, that's the thing that ensures that I get paid back. So um, that's why they call it hard money. It's, it's, it sounds a little intimidating because the word yeah. hard, Yeah. Um, it's... I don't know. I I think of that scares off a lot of people. They're like hard money. Oh, yeah. You know, but it's that's all it is. It's basically um, you are getting a loan based on something that's valuable. So it's no different than if you had a Tesla, and you're like, it's the Tesla's worth sixty thousand dollars, and you're like, Jonas, I need to borrow thirty grand. If I don't pay you back, I'll give you my Tesla that's worth sixty thousand dollars. Right. Hey, that's that's a good deal, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, and by the way, like, um, there's a, a myth out there that um, yeah, all hard money lenders they they want to foreclose on you. Trust me, it you do not want to foreclose on somebody. Yeah, and yeah. thank goodness I've never had to do that, and I don't ever want to do that. Yes. Um, like, who wants to make a living? No, oh, taking somebody's home back like that's no not kidding. that is not a, a way that I want to make my money. Yeah. Um, so when would hard money be appropriate? Was your question? Yeah. Yeah. Who would okay, borrow? So, so um, in this market right now, it COVID, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. The market is hot right yeah. now. It is. It's hot. Yeah. And so you've got multiple offers coming in. Um, you've got tons of flippers, right? Right. So most people. Um, that are just starting out flipping, they're like, well, um, I don't have enough money, so I'm going to pull all my money together, and then um, I'm going to partner up with some other person, right? Right. Well, a, a partner, if you bring in a partner, I'm assuming that if you're a fair business person, you're probably going to split the deal 50-50 if yeah. you're bringing half the money each, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, that's a very expensive way to do business because sure. um, <laughs> if you're making 30 grand you know you just paid 15 out to your partner yeah which is fine um, but if I were to borrow hard money yeah the cost would be a lot less a lot less a lot less yes. so um, people say well the interest rates on hard money are just crazy I'm like yeah but it's way cheaper than giving away 50% of your profit exactly you know, so. And it's amazing. I'm so glad you brought that up because it's amazing how many people will take the partner route, yeah, than the hard money route, because hard money is too expensive. Yeah, yeah. Well, not only that, they're like, they are rolling the dice on their life savings. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like maybe they have a hundred grand a piece, right? And right. And to do a flip, that's let's just say it's two hundred grand. I mean, if that deal goes south, yeah. You, like let's say COVID happens and like you're you were gonna do an Airbnb yeah and you can no longer Airbnb like unless you have a backup plan um, yeah it's that's probably not a great strategy to just go all in right um hard money you're diversifying the risk and the lender is taking on a lot of the risk because right. if you don't pay the lender back then you walk away yeah and you know you're you're you um, lose the property, but you're not going to lose your life savings. Exactly. And you know what I like about new investors using hard money lenders is it's a second set of eyes that actually knows what they're doing, verifying, yeah, this is something I'd lend on based on being right. a good deal. That's right. That's right. So if you don't know what you're doing and you leverage your own money, yep. you could totally lose it. But a hard money lender would be like, I'm not loaning on that because... Yep. 
It's a second pair of eyes. Yeah, absolutely. And to that point, I, I had a borrower once <clears throat> who was like, actually, no, I was I was wholesaling it to I was wholesaling a deal to an, another guy, and I was like, you know, there's there's a lot of work here, and you know, I was just I was just kind of like. Buyer beware, like, you yeah, know, just, I'm just letting you know, like, here are all the things. He's like, you know, I'm good. I'm going to get my hard money. And, uh, you know, that deal worked out for him. So it's, um, it is good to have a, a second pair of eyes just to, yeah, you know. Exactly. Because if a hard money lender doesn't want to loan on it, that's probably telling you it's yeah, not as good as I think yeah. it is. And he's only lo loaning like 80% right. of the value. Right. Yeah. So. Okay, perfect.